So, I'm going to be right. Yeah, sure. All right, so the hotel was first built in 1853, uh, and then it burnt down. Mm -hmm. They rebuilt it with brick in 56, and it burnt down again, and uh, at some point I can go ahead and, in the restaurant, I can show you guys some of the charring on the brick. Oh, nice. Um, and we do actually have a ghost in the dining room. Um, and then they rebuilt it in 58, and that's the current rendition that we're standing in. Uh, and a lot of the building is the original architecture. We have original brickwork. Uh, the lobby floor is also like the original planking. Mm -hmm. um, and let me think, what else? There's been employees that like a lot of us are pretty sure that it was a uh, brothel back in the day. And, sure. Yeah, a lot of these hotels probably were. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have a we have a speakeasy downstairs that's mm -hmm. open. I heard on, that. Yeah. On weekends and. Uh, it was originally part of a tunnel system from the prohibition mm -hmm. that they used to, you know, smuggle drinks and also women. Uh, and that's been closed up since, and we now have So it was actually a kind of a hidden speakeasy? Or? Yeah, like okay. back in the prohibition, it was like a speakeasy, speakeasy. Okay. And we've now kind of reinstated it with the same sort of vibes. Hmm, cool. Mm hmm And have you had any experiences there in the speakeasy? Um, not in, well, I say that. Um, the most I've had down there is just kind of vibes. Uh, we have consistent trouble with lights flickering in one particular part, and the plumbing is always fickle down there. You think that's paranormal? Uh, the plumbing, not so much. The light, probably. Because no matter it's not how many, the whole hotel. No matter how many times they replace the bulbs, yeah. uh, they haven't done any messing with the wiring, since at least not since I've worked here. And it's it was super inconsistent, and there's not there's only one other part of the building that has lights that do that. I can't take you there, but it is in the basement, and there's, there's one particular light. Sometimes there's a second one that does it, mm -hmm. um, but that's usually how I determine the mood of that particular ghost. Oh, really? If that light is flickering. It warns like, you? If that light is flickering, I'm like, oh, you're in a bad mood today. I will leave you alone. <laughs> um, last week, the light was completely out, and they just replaced the bulb not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but usually it's, you know, strong and steady, but they'd also just pulled up a bunch of the Christmas decorations, which were, like, usually right in that area. Yeah? So I'm like, ooh. The yikes. spirits did that? No, uh, oh, so the staff. staff, you know, did Christmas decorations and for the holidays and whatnot, mm -hmm. but it was all stored right under that light. Okay. And so I went down there just this past weekend, and it was completely, that, that particular bulb was off completely. Hmm. And they just replaced it. What about it. in the rooms, any flickering lights? Ah, uh, the rooms, I don't think we've ever had any trouble with flickering. The one right next door to you was super dim for a while. I think this one as well. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it was anything to do with bulbs that needed replacing. I think the only two hotels that's happened for me is the Palm and then American River in Georgetown. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Yeah, they, they turn off the hallway lights. I do know this one did, this room did trick me for a while though because that closet door sticks. Yeah, I noticed that. I was wondering what it was. You really tug it. And I was like, oh, really? What's going on here? Yeah. I'm afraid of breaking it. No, go for it. Oh, dang. Okay. Like, it sticks something fierce, but if you didn't know better... Hmm. I'll leave it open. <laughs> I usually try oh, to... Oh, yeah. Wasn't my room that remember the closet kept opening and he uh, couldn't figure it out? Georgetown? Y yeah. Murray's room? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good location. The Georgetown Hotel and the American River Inn in mm -hmm. Georgetown. Yeah, so much they're, they're both very, very haunted. Not very nice spirits, but no. they're. Some, you get better have, activity with them. We so. have like a 50 50 mix here, but that yeah. also might just be because I'm good on like relatively good terms with a bunch of the ones here. Yeah. So they may not like me at all, but they don't know who I am. Yeah, that tends to be the case. Um, I do know my first day working here, uh, I was being kind of shown around the hotel, like learning how to check all the rooms. Mm -hmm. And this doorknob. Came off in the hand. It just of the came person off. Showed, yeah, it just. Oh wow. In her hand, and we stood there like laughing about it for a good couple of minutes. Well, my car door handle like exploded off one time in Lock Chinatown. Hmm. I had just gotten it too. I was like, what? Had to super glue it back on. And then there's also a room that might be booked for tonight um, that has a bathroom door that will lock itself. Oh really? And we have like a special little tool down at the desk that we use to unlock it for the for the guests. Huh. And you think that's paranormal? It probably is, because it's just like a little push-button lock. Oh, okay. It's not any right. turn mechanism. It's not loose or anything. Interesting. Second floor, third floor? It's on the second floor. Hmm. Cool. And it's actually the room directly across from 200. Oh. What is this room here that's not numbered? Is that out? Oh, this one? This is a housekeeping closet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 
Remember I said that was a closet? Is it the size of like a room or? No, it's pretty small. It's, it's probably small. about the size of that closet. Cool. So if you'd like, I can take you on a walking tour or you can go get your equipment real fast. What do you want to yeah, first? yeah, I'd like to get the equipment. Yeah. Let me know if you guys need a hand. I'm happy to help. And then I, I can meet you. I don't know where you want to wait. Do you want a drink? I have, I have some sodas, I think. No, you're fine. You don't want a soda? Okay. No, I literally <laughs> live on site, so 